guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 18 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, presenting the challenger, Paul, the Irish Dragon, Helder. And now it is the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 154 pounds. Fighting out of Detroit, Michigan, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Canadier. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Ready? You ready to fight? All right, so here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC champion out of the red corner. Many of you remember his title defense not all that long ago. He won it by knockout. And most of the guys, the number one contender types who have risen to a title shot, have succumbed to his power. They think they know what it feels like, and then all of a sudden they get in the octagon, and they just can't take the pop. So we'll see how he handles this particular challenge here tonight. Certainly an outstanding grappler who could pose some different challenges if we hit the canvas. He told us his game plan is to avoid the mat at all costs. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. There's no tell on that leg kick. Try to establish that jab. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. He is all about that left kick to the body. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Throwing that jab, no good. Strong hook lands. Oh! Look at how he turns his 
hip over when he throws that kick. Get that leg up. Head kick there blocked by Cannonier. Single collar tie now. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the iron lung, Paul Felt. Just misses there with the left. Beautiful punch. Nice land there by Paul Felder. Always one of the more powerful guys in this lightweight division, but he says he really found himself when he made the move to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and aligned with his head coach, Duke Rufus. Oh, big knee! Oh, big knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Under a minute to go in our opening round. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Ooh. Nice shot inside by the champion. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, nice straight there by Cannonier. Oh. So it was all about the liver kicks and the body attack in that previous round. DC, the highlight. The liver kick is a nasty kick because it only takes one to land in the perfect spot, and it will shut your body down completely. You won't be able to stand. You won't be able to fight. All you want to do is exit the octagon. He better Ready get his fight. elbow down, Ready. or his opponent's going to continue to take advantage of that weakness. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Big punch from the clinch. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's income. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Goes back to that left kick once again. Oh! Just missed with the left there. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. The right hook to the body. Whiffs on the straight right hand. What a punch. Oh, nice. Nice. Felder stuffs it out, and they separate. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here, and starting to find oh, oh, oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Felder's uppercut, but that one is blocked. Big punch land. Ooh. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Grabbing the back of the head. 
pulling forward on the head and then landing on beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Round three next. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Sauce reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Beautiful strike. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job. Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his Is what they call it to go and end the fight. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, oh, a violent strike to the body. This could be the end. That'll do it. He's done. He's done. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. UFC lightweight champion of the world. An outstanding performance, horn to horn here tonight. He was on point early and late as he gets the win by TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is calling stop to this contest at one minute, 31 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO and still.